This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. And it's an honor to make a film again. It's been three weeks. Over the last three weeks, I had the stuffing knocked out of me three di different directions. One, I had my yearly sinus infection, which beats the devil out of me for about three weeks. Add fuel to the fire, I my old ankle blew, blew up because I had got a gout attack. And then had fuel to the fire when I went in to get some medicine for my gout or for my sinuses. They said I had COVID, tested positive. They shoved that rod up in my nose so hard. Man, that hurt. I mean, that was terrible, painful. They'll never do it again to me. With that, because I told them, I said, I've had COVID check uh, test on the other side of town for here in McCook. On the other side of town, they have you cough in your armpit three times and then they swab your mouth and that's how they do the test. No pain, no suffering and they find out quite quickly that way. Rather than the old way of shoving it clear into your brain and thinking that's the only way to do it is to hurt somebody. With that in mind, <clears throat> they said I had COVID but I was at the end of it so there wasn't much they could do for me. I already had the single J&J &J shot and so they said, well, I'll just, you know, go home. And I, okay. And then I was saying, but I've still got sinus problems and they still wouldn't do anything for me. So I'm on my own on that. So I got online. You couldn't possibly expect the, the medical community locally to help me. So I got online and there they showed me some tips and said that uh, take uh, the Mucinex and the Claritin, a few things like that, uh, would be, uh, it would reduce it. And it not only reduced it, but it got rid of it within three days then, rather than three weeks. I stayed locked in at the house for the week that they said I needed to be there. And then they turned me loose. But it beat me up pretty good. I'm here to tell you all three of them combined if, in fact, I had COVID. 15% of the time, though, they say COVID tests are wrong. So who knows? But that was my ability to go through a, a little bit of hell for a while and needless to say I missed out on uh, talking about the trial of Rittenhauser and you know different comments I'd like to have made that would have been pertinent back then but they're not really now and I think everything that's said has been said about that but rest assured the next time I make a film it'll be up to date I'll be ready to go again and I want to thank you for following you know mr bill and donzy 52 channel have a good day beautiful four and a half pound catfish and yep we turn them loose absolutely